Sui and Tang China. The Sui dynasty reunited China after 370 years of division, but it lasted for only 30 years. It was followed by the Tang dynasty, which lasted nearly 300 years. From the fall of the Han to the rise of the Sui, China was divided into three kingdoms, Wei in the north, Shu in the west, and Wu in the south. There was a constant warfare, as well as nomad invasions from Mongolia and Tibet. Many, uh, many towns were ruined, and the population fell. Devastation in the north led to migration southward, making the south more politically important. During this time, Buddhism became more widespread in China, bringing in many foreign ideas. Finally, in 581, Yang Jian, a general from Wei, overthrew his generals and founded the Sui dynasty. By 589, he had unified China. The Sui dynasty. Yang Jian became, uh, renamed himself Emperor Wen. Or sorry, he renamed himself Emperor Wen. Before he came to power, taxes were high and people were drafted into the army for long periods of time. As Emperor, he cut taxes, abolished military service, mandatory military service, governing firmly from his capital in Chang'an. He also encouraged the development of agriculture by setting up irrigation schemes and redistributing land. All of these things helped make the country wealthy. The second Sui emperor was Yang Di. Under Yang Di's rule, China's Grand Canal was rebuilt so that it would link the main rivers of China. He also had palaces and pleasure parks built. The money for them was raised by ordering people to pay 10 years tax in advance. The peasants rebelled, and in 618, Yang Di was killed. Tang Dynasty. The second Tang Emperor, Taizong, reorganized government, cut taxes, and redistributed land. The reorganization of this unified the empire was far in advance of anything found in other parts of the world. This stable period marked the beginning of nearly 300 years, which promoted Chinese excellence in the arts, science, and technology. Between 640 and 660, Tang China expanded into Central Asia, seeking to keep troublesome nomads from controlling the Silk Road. The Chinese went as far as modern-day Korea, Afghanistan, and Thailand. After Taizong's time, a rebellion by An Lushan in Beijing in 755 challenged the Tang rule, and the Tang never fully recovered. Imperial rule became a formality, and power shifted to regional governors and courtiers. The Tibetans also defeated the Chinese in Central Asia, and grew, uh, there were more rebellions during the 800s. By 907, the Tang Dynasty had collapsed, and there followed a period of civil wars that lasted until 960.